Hey guys, it's JK here, back with another episode of the Interman Career Mode. So I swear we're on episode 12 now, but yeah, I do have a cold if you guys are wondering. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the video. So last episode, we made some crazy signings, and we made a lot of changes to the side. Um, brought in actually quite a few players, you know. But yes, now that is all done, over and done with, basically, we are now getting kicked off of the season. So I explained how this is going to work. We're basically going to be simulating most of our games this season. Um, we should find out our Champions League group very soon, but I don't really care about the league too much this season because I won it last year. It's all about the Champions League for me. Any like games before a Champions League day, rest. Second team, no matter who it is. But yes, first game of the season, simulation against Bologna. We have Lionel Messi in for his debut, and we do need to change his number, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let me go find the sheet where I put the numbers. Yeah, I've got the numbers right here. Okay, so yeah, let me go sort those out and I will be back. So then guys, these are the new numbers. So we have Lautaro Martinez number 9, Lukaku number 69, Depay number 11, Messi at 10, Uzman at 7, Hakimi at 2, um, Eriksen at 8. I'm only doing first team players by the way. Uh, Fabinho at 6, which is his real life number. Um, Kudabali 5, Skriniar 4, Robertson 3, and Edison at 1. So, without further ado, let's get simulating because next up we have a really important game up against Piemonte Calcio. Whoever wins this match, in my opinion, might have a good shot of winning the league. Obviously, we do have to play our second team quite a, team quite a lot. So, yeah, let's not delete that. Loan offer for Di Collegio. Don't know who he is. Uh, X Emmers has multiple offers, apparently. But yeah, we'll, we'll send this guy out on loan. He's not going to be useful, so let's send him out on loan. All right, next piece of action. We're just going to keep simulating because I really don't care. Oh, actually, let me do some training quickly because, you know, I need, I want to train up Brandon Williams to become a sick left back. So, yeah, let's get that done, and I'll be back. Okay, then, guys, so these are the drills that we have set up. We have four set up for... Brandon Williams, we want to get him up to at least a 76 by the end of the season. And Esposito, obviously, developing like a mad lad. He's going to be such a clinical player. He's going to be such a great playmaker as well. So, the next game, obviously, Piemonte Calcio, as, as I have probably already mentioned. Um, going to be a really tough game, obviously. But I feel like whoever wins this game, really, is going to have the best shot of winning the league. As If we were to play everything. Like, we would just play full team all the time. Then I feel like we would probably be the best team to win the league. Obviously, we're not going for that. And apparently, Ericsson's going to boss the midfield this year. Yeah, you betcha. He was sick last year. He got, like, what, 20 summit assists? Uh, he was actually mad. And I haven't actually played this in a while. But, yes, uh, we got some emails to deal with as well. So, we'll just we'll just do that before the game. Uh, so, what we got? Players leaving. Uh, the Gregio loan out. Gravillion, Emmers. Two rescheduled matches and offers for Emma retracted. That must mean that we've obviously had our Champions League draw. So let's see who we got. We're going to news. Actually, no, we can't. Let's just do the Piemonte game first. Lad should always fit. Lionel Messi still hasn't scored yet. So hopefully he can do it this game. We've come out as 2 1 winners. Wow. This could mean, you know, that we could win the league this year. Messi's still not on the scoreboard, but it's only been two games. Could take him a while to settle in. Obviously, you don't have the legs anymore. So you never know. Alright, transfer deadline day. We got the top deal, I think, with Koulibaly. So absolutely insane. Let's just keep winding down, I guess. Let's actually see what those emails are first. Because they are going to be a bit important. Uh, let's see. Final scout reports. I think it's just Junior Firpo, Alfonso Davies and Ben Chilwell. Like, these are the other players that we're going to put in. Alfonso Davies had a banging release clause, you know. Uh, no, yeah, big man in it, and then we'll just go. To f yeah, that, that would have been a bad choice. Yeah, you know what? That would have been a bad choice. But yeah, he would have been decent. But unfortunately, we didn't have the cash to bring him in. Don't think they would have loaned him out. So we'll just keep progressing on deadline day. Okay, so we have an hour left now on deadline day. Actually, I should have probably looked at how much business we did. Unfortunately, I'm an idiot, so I've got to do it. So. Yay. Uh, Bakayoko sold, finally. 
Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of money left. We have about £5 million, if that, in the budget. But yes, um, we have more training to do before we actually go take a look at our Champions League group, basically. So yes, let's see if Brandon Williams can make some progression. Yeah, not bad. He's a decent player, you know, real life and in game. So be interesting to see how he does. But yes, now let's go. Let's see if the Champions League draw has been done. No, well, no, nothing really. Uh, can he sign Kieran Clark? Kieran Clark. No, it's not really been anything. But let me just go to our next game and um, see if there's been the Champions League draw yet. It probably be after the international break, right? Yeah, Hellas Verona currently top of the table. Ooh, sexy. Uh, but yeah, let's go see if we have been given our calendar for the Champions League match. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yes! Yeah, I'm well happy we got Dino Zagreb. That will be a sim. We'll play that Dortmund game. <laughs> yes, we got a piss easy group. We got Locomotive, Dortmund, and Dino Zagreb. So we should be getting through our group. So basically, we have to play two games until like December. So that means we're basically simming the whole of November, the whole of October, the whole of September, other than like this got one Dortmund game, which might be in this episode. I just want to get through the season quickly. And because we have a Champions League match coming up, Messi's down to a 92. You mad? Jesus, Messi. Poor mate. 82 acceleration. 78 sprint speed. That's not bad, but as a cab, he'd be pretty decent. But he might be a bit slow. His agility's at 84. He's still got insane physical like, shooting attributes and all that. His stamina is pretty shit now, and so is his strength, obviously. But he'll get subbed out anyway, if you think about it again. Lukaku's pissed. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, stop stressing Lukaku, you bitch. I'll play you. I'll play you, okay? Calm down. He's getting this game anyway, because we're playing with the second team. So yes, Hellas Verona. With the second team, I'm not confident, because they have been on great form at the minute. And we are using our second team. It's a 1-1 one, one draw. That's better than I expected. I actually expected it. We can see it in a 90th minute goal. Oh, got to skip. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. If you didn't know, I actually got copyrighted the last time I showed the Champions League loading screen. It's bloody annoying, isn't it? It's just so annoying. So, yeah. Let's just... Uh, is it good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right, now let me do some training before this Locomotive Moscow game. Come on, let's get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. No, he'll be there with the next training session. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Game against Luka... No, you know Zagreb, I'm sorry. But, yeah, our group's easy. I didn't think we'd get given such an easy group, you know. I expected a lot harder, in all fairness. Uh, how the players look. Yep, full fitness coming into this team. Side, sorry. Kudabali, Scrani, Al Robertson, Akimi. What a defence that is. Edison's gone up. Fabinho looks mad. Ericsson can't get upgraded anymore, but he's still a great playmaker. Depay is insane. Martinez is insane. Nabele's not gone that well, but... He's still a great player, and Lionel Messi is Lionel Messi. Yeah, he, will, he will always have that factor about him. No matter if he went down to 60 pace, he would still be an amazing player. Can he score his first goal for the club, though? Still hasn't scored yet, but I feel like I will force a goal with him, no matter what. He scored 3 0 with the first team. I feel like I might not even need to play that Dortmund game at this rate. But yeah, let's just see the calendar. Sampdoria game. Yeah, we'll be able to play these, and I will probably have to use second team against Benevento. So, yeah, I'm basically just chilling, you know. I'm really happy with how we're doing at the minute. Um, obviously, I don't think we're going to win the league this season. We're facing Tapdoria, who are top of the table. First team going in. Uh, will it be the first team coming out on top? 2-0, well in. Great game, guys. Brandon Williams up to a 75 and Esposito up to a 77. I can't wait. Like, if I was doing this career mode, or even if it was just a rebuild where I simulated all the time, I would be so proud of having such good players at this moment in time. But yes, game against Florentina. Uh, can we come back to top spot temporarily? First team going in again. 3 0 win. Depay getting two. And Lukaku getting one off the bench. My number 69 doing bits. So yeah, I, can't, I don't think I can really ask for any more. We are level top of the table now. And now we face newly promoted Benevento from the Serie B, which isn't even in the game next year. I don't know if they actually got promoted, so I don't know if you'll be able to use them. Right, second team going in. Second team wins 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh what Carbo got a hat trick, boys. The, I didn't expect the second team to be that good. And now we can go back to the first team for the Dortmund game. And unfortunately, I don't know the extent of, yep, yeah, it's a bad injury, you know. It's a pretty bad injury if he's not able to go training again. Uh, we get great work from the board. And it's two months for Esposito. Which means we are going to have to maybe do some little, a little bit of shuffling around. See what players aren't in any team. And I don't think we actually have any that are in the... <laughs> <laughs> we have Pinamonte. Ah, that's that's well annoying now. We have Pinamonte, who should be fair could be doing mitts, you know. But uh, I don't know. I think we just do this for now. I think I might just leave it as it was, and I go with Lautaro Martinez in the second team. I think I can overuse him. Because he's not happy as it stands, so... But I think he'll be fine, right? Let's go back to the main team. Get simulating again for this Dortmund game. I don't really want to do training. Now. Oh, we have a Milan derby a couple of days later. Talking about stress. Uh, uh, let me just tell the Kakus there's bigger games ahead when there really isn't any bigger games ahead. Yep, <laughs> you enjoy that bit of news, lad. Right. Squad looking sexy. Simulation time against Dortmund. Now, we should have Lukaku on the bench for this one. So, he, if he comes on, he'll be happy. Um, they beat Lokomotiv Moscow 4-1, which should mean we get through in this group. And it's a 3-0 win. Come on, boys. Woo! I'm actually really confident. I, I was meant to play that game. I was meant to play that. We don't even need to play any games this series, guys. I don't even care anymore. We don't even need to play games. That's just proven we don't even need to play. You know what? You know what? I am just... I'm, I'm just literally going to sim. That, that's it. Like, that's really all I can do, right? I could... Like, with the time I have, I've got about another 40 minutes. But if I want to do something else, I'll probably at least... At least... Sim to the end of November, so we get so that means we get a better look at our group before we go into like the second set of matchups. So that means we played every single Champions League team at once. Um, so then, yeah, basically, I say, and we've won manager of the month. You know what? This season is just falling into place. This could be the season we win the Champions League. Last season, obviously, very unlucky not to win it. So yeah, let's just um, get going, I guess. We have the Milan Derby up next. Uh, is the main team all right for it? I don't think we have to overwork too much during that game. Yeah, we're basically full fitness. But I would never forgive myself if we got some injuries. But yeah, Milan's going out the captain. 89 overall now. He's a bloody god. And it is a 1-0 when we meant we scored in the fifth minute. And basically it was just a boring game. Did it get cancelled after five minutes? Uh, yeah, I should have all my sessions back now. Yeah, we do. I really just want to get... No, Brandon Williams to be a bloody brilliant player all round. I want him to be like an Andy Robertson or Trent. Like one of those all round players. Fullback, sorry. That you can basically use in any position. So we just need to wait till that goes down to one. And then we can do the training again. Okay, there we go. Back into training. Simulate all. Boom. We keep, we keep getting an F on one on one bucket race. Not too happy about that, Brandon. You saw that out, but as long as it ain't FIFA 20 and you don't get constantly the same score, I think it'll be fine. Okay, now we do have uh, Sassuolo before our next game. So let's go with the second team. Now, Tyron Martinez is going to work overtime in this match. Um, he should be fine, you know. I have confidence in him. He should be able to do well. But yeah, let's go. One to win. Jesus Christ. What a good good performance, guys. Keep Just keep winning games and you should be fine. No injuries as well, which makes it even better. Um, uh, Usman Mbele now up to... Oh, yes, Brandon's up to an 86. But yeah, Usman now up to an 86 himself. Um, Williams up to 76, um, obviously. I don't want to add another drill unless I want to train this Pinamonte guy, which wouldn't actually be a bad idea. But I'm fine with overworking... Um, Martinez, because I could just go with Messi, Depay, Pontano up front. It's just that simple, really. Right, main team back in action once again. 
Um, how's the squad looking? Yeah, pretty much full fitness once again. Lionel Messi, if he keeps up his performances, will be holding back the age of time. Um, but yeah, two seasons with Lionel Messi should take him down to 90 overall, but he's still one of the best players in the world, no matter how poor his physicals are. Messi getting a double, as I was speaking about him. It's just ill-advised to criticise Messi. He'll just come out the gates and be even better, I guess. And now we do have... A, okay, Lukaku's pit getting really annoyed now. Absolutely peed off. You still have your place in the squad, but after this game, if I don't play him, he will get really salty. And that could mean we have to sell him pretty soon. I wouldn't be against that, though, because we could just bring a temporary striker like Erling Blount Haaland. He would be a really good striker to bring in. Uh, but it's run a game. Uh, do, 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 do we? Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna bring in Lukaku for this game. You know, if you don't like it, you can lump it. He's with the Serie A champions, so you can just deal with it, really. And it is a three 0 win. Ah, oh, I saw an injury icon on the right hand side, and it was just Lindelof. But yeah, I feel like this season we're just gonna smack it. Honestly, we're gonna be doing so well. Now we do have a like, Atalanta a couple of days later. Yes, Brandon's got 57 finishing, boys. Oh, no, he almost has 57 finishing. You know, he'll do. Um, I'm sorry, I might be talking a bit quicker. I've been trying to rush. Don't think it's really worked. Um, we have Atalanta two days, Torino in about a week, and then we have Locomotive. So I think we go main team, second team, main team. And I think we end off the video after that Locomotive Moscow game. Okay. Atalanta... We'll try to replace the problem. Go into this game. Let's just hope Lukaku comes on so we don't get stroppy again. He's come on and we've won 2 0. Hakimi and Ericsson supplying the goals in this game, however. Instead of the usual ones. Instead of the usual ones. Um, wait, how many games until we play? Yep, yeah, second team against Torino. I know we're probably going to lose this one, though, due to the fact we are using the second team for this. But yeah, we really are overworking now, Tara Martinez. He might need a rest in a couple of games. Uh, I'm definitely going to agree that there are bigger games ahead for me, you know, mate. You don't need to be playing fucking Torino, lad. I haven't even used half of these players that I signed yet. I don't even know how the team plays. We're going in with a second team. It's like, I don't understand how we are getting results in the league when we're playing the second team. We're still undefeated. We're doing better than last season. Like, we, we'd already lost games at this point last season. All right, don't let me stop the simulation then, game. Thanks a lot. Um, blah, 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 blah. I could have done better in the match against Torino. Don't blame it on yourself. I'll give you a chance. Play suspended. That's fine. Bastoni, mate, doesn't even play. Locomotive Moscow will go in with the first team. Lakaro's a bit tired, but he's up to an 87. Ericsson's up to an 88. Let's go. The old man's doing the work. This team's sick. Okay, I don't even care. Home against Locomotive, Locomotive Moscow. Let's see what we do. It's a pretty tight schedule, though. Uh, oh, this is exactly what I was saying. Oh, dear. Oh, actually, he got injured in the 58th, but came off in the 75th. This is probably, like, a weak injury. If it's two months, then I'm going to be fucking pissed that he stayed on the pitch, you know. Uh, proud of you. Really am proud of him. Two months! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie me. We have like two strikers left. Oh man. <laughs> this ain't good. This is not good at all. This really isn't good. Um, I don't know what we're going to do now. <laughs> uh. Right, I, I think I have an idea of what we can do. Messi's down to 79 pace. Oh, bless him. <laughs> bless his little heart. Oh, he gets more acceleration and sprint speed than that through the automatic boost. So if we could keep Messi happy. Like, we could play Messi at striker, Politano on the right. Or Politano up front. Yeah, I think we just have to play the Kaka so he'll start crying. But he'll probably end up getting injured and then we might have any strikers. So as long as he doesn't get injured in the next two months. But yeah, let's just kind of recap what we've done this episode. Um, I've not got my schedule with me now. I'm just going to go flying into the season. So, we be, we won, we won. We then won with a rested team. We drew with a rested side. And won, 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 
won with a rested side, won against Dortmund easily in a simulation, beat Milan 1-0, uh, beat Sassuolo with the second team, beat Lokomotiv with Moscow with the main, Roma with the first, Atalanta with the first, Torino drew, got, we got a draw with them with the second, Parma's coming up next episode. Next episode, probably going to crack into this game here, this game here, this game here, this game here, and then this game here. Frosinone, ooh, good team. Um, they'll be with the second team, but depending on how things look in the Champions League table, will depend on if we play that Dortmund game. I think if we win this, we're guaranteed top of the group, but I would love to go unbeaten, but I would also like to give some players a rest. Then we have Lazio and Udinese. I'm probably going to go till January next episode, you know, and I'm probably going to drop myself out the Coppa Nazionale quick, quick, really quickly, because I don't want to be getting stuck in that. And, um, yeah, we don't have any of the strikers, so... We could bring in McCampy, you know. He's a bloody sick player. What are you on about? I'm just joking. I'm not going to be able to bring anyone in. But yes, thank you guys for watching. Let's go take... Okay, I keep saying thank you, thank you guys for watching when I haven't even ended the video yet. Okay, so let's see how we are. Okay, undefeated in Serie A. Currently in second position, two points behind Lazio, one point ahead of Piante. So we obviously beat them in the cup. We're going to get deliberately knocked out of the Copa Nazionale. Uh, Inter, Inter, Inter. We either face... We have to face one of these teams, I think. I think we have to beat one of these teams. So I'm just going to get myself knocked out, or I'm just going to use the second team in this competition. Uh, UEFA Super Cup, Champions League. Let's go Champions League. We'll just see how we are doing in the group. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't even think we have to play any more group matches. I think we've just won it. But, yeah, one final look at the stats for the players so I can work out my objective progress. If I even decide I'm going to do objectives. Ten goals for Depay already this season, doing bits. Six for Ericsson. Oh, my God. Koulibaly is a fucking beast. He's got four goals. He's got the same amount as Messi and Politano in the second team. Lautaro's got three, so he ain't been doing that well this season. Carve, I expected him to do a bit more. 16 games, three goals. Uh, Carmo's got as many goals as Lautaro. Wow, Lautaro's been cracked on this season. <laughs> uh, he assists Ericsson again doing bits. I feel like the MVP really has got to be Koulibaly. <laughs> you fucking beast. <laughs> Scored four goals from centre-back. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time with some more jam-packed... Or another jam-packed video, should I say. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to go have some fun on Rocket League with my friends. If you guys want to see Rocket League content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.